Hello my beautiful badges, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the beautiful Toon Suburban pack from six games over on the Unity Asset Store available in both built-in and URP render pipelines. Ah, URP beautifulness. In this pack, you are getting over 800 amazing cartoony prefabs from modular buildings to cars that can actually open and close and drive with interiors as well and characters in this pack. You can make any type of toony game your heart desires. Sit back and join. I'll see you all in a second. There we are inside the Toon Suburban pack from Six Games, where you can get over 800 prefabs from modular buildings and interiors to vehicles, road systems, and characters. That's right, you heard it. It's actually modular buildings. So, not just these wonderful interiors, because we've seen other interiors as well in Six Games assets, but all of these parts that make up these buildings are actually modular. And as we'll see here, just by flying around, these vehicles have got doors that can open, convertible roofs that can be disabled and enabled. They don't have an animation on the roof, but we could easily do that ourselves. Uh, we would need to change the pivot point, though, on where the convertible roof is. And you've got the lights for the blinkers and the front lights that can be turned off and on. And here I've thrown in the different characters. Not all of them, because you get um, 26 different character presets from six character templates so that's two sets of male and female for each casual leisure and office clothing the something about the clothing so if i pause it a second and go over to the clothing you would notice that we can actually turn off some things like we take off her undershirt uh take off a jacket uh if you take off her shirt as well oh i'm sorry um she's got a uh is that a six pack is that a rib cage sticking out oh my word that was that a top that's a flesh colored so i can't tell um oh my well, I, I do let's put that back on i do apologize for um yes that was uh, being rude about her modesty there okay oh so uh but she doesn't have any blend shapes and i think that's because of the clothes all being separated to avoid if you're making her arms bigger or shorter uh, than all of the other parts being affected so i think i think that's that might be related to that one but there you go back into play oh, while we're here let's have a look at this car see the doors open here so we've got the headlights are separate we've got the steering wheel separate tail lights are separate uh, and in some vehicles you've even got the gear sticks able to be moved uh, in this case it doesn't but actually what you could do is go to one of the other vehicles that does i think this one does i think it's just the big trucks that do um these ones though they've got the back I'm really not getting used to this change of how they've done the ui oh i do apologize i the red is what we want there you go so you can even open up the back there and if we go over to this truck or oh, down here at the bottom of the road the garbage truck has got a gear stick now it could be very it would be very easy just to add this into all of the cars and just have every car in the game as an automatic um and just put that in uh, but what you could also do is just extract that and put it into all the cars manually if you wanted um which i'm gonna end up doing i would love these cars for all of the cars to have the bonnets and the boots um to be able to be opened what do you what do you call the um, what do you call the boot of a car in america trunk there you go the trunk we also call it the trunk um i suppose what do you call the bonnet what do you call the the hood there you go the hood of the car and the trunk eh see what i did there yeah translating as we're talking uh to be able to be opened that would be awesome to be really cheeky i love all the bumpers the fenders eh front fender and rear fender uh uh bumpers to be able to come off as well and that way it would be very similar to the amazing uh the beautiful Cinti studios cars which are so customizable it, they are amazing i'd love i'd love a six games version of that 
But, you know, if we keep on poking, hopefully it would happen. Talking about modular buildings, as you can see here, all the building parts here are modular. Now, they do add up, uh, but I'm going to tell you this. You've got two ways of, of how you would should address this. Uh, as you can see, like 700 verts, just for this part here. Um, you could do mesh combined studio and combine them all and, and, and use atlasing and all that stuff. Or you could use something like GPU instancer and instantiate all of the different prefabs of the modular pieces rather than having the entire building as a prefab. You, you'll just have all of the, the parts here and instantiate those with GPU instancer. It depends on how you ever want to do it. But what I, what I will tell you out of the box, unfortunately, there's no lots. So we've got no LODs on, on these buildings, which is uh, my, my only, I always say apart from the vehicles, not having um, the boot and the bonnet to be opened. Uh, the lack of LODs on this pack is my biggest gripe that I've got with the, all the six game stuff. I mean, to be honest, it's not the biggest headache in the world because we've had so many humble bundles or Unity bundles that I've got quite a few automatic LOD solutions for Unity. So we can easily throw those in and it gets it done, uh, even creating LODs at real time. So that's that's not a problem. What would be great, though, if Unity just pulled their finger out of their pocket and made their own or acquired one of these auto loading solutions and just did what Unreal do and let the engine handle the LODs situation by itself. That would be great. That would be That's an addition to Unity that I'm still waiting for and i hope one day to happen that unity would automatically handle lods for everything that way and then you can option it like you know auto lod tick box or, or manual lod uh, and do it that way that would be for me and i think for many of you out there the best of both worlds come on unity do it pull your finger out auto lod for the for the win there's loads in this pack there really is so in addition to those uh, 26 character presets we've got 30 building presets all these buildings that you can see preset laid out for you which is fantastic which include the interiors there's eight garage presets for shops 32 interior presets there's 349 modular house pit, uh, pit, pits pieces for the kits pits there you go 349 modular house pits um, there's 49 bathroom props and 153 living room and bedroom assets. 75 kitchens and 23 shop assets. I mean, that's huge. That means you can basically make any house, any shop that you want in this pack. As well as the fact we've got these slushy and lemonade stands as well. And as Dowie sent me a DM, he got very excited. Uh, where There's the donut shop. There's donut shops as well in this pack. Here we go, down here. There's also the marketplace. There's a shake house with an animated <laughs> drink at the top. Uh, a donut, which looks like it's covered in blood, but actually that's the jam of the donut. But it looks very violent. And we've got all of the the donut shop sells fruit for some bizarre reason. I don't know. Why, I don't know why that is. That the donut shop has got loads of fruit for sale rather than donuts. Dowie. They would be very upset. So six games, why have you got loads of fruit in your donut shop? I can understand that you've got fruit in the shake shop, shop because people are saying, I want uh, an orange shake or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but what's interesting is that you don't have a load of shakes laid out here. You do have some cartoned and bottled drinks, but if for the for the shake shop and the donut shop, we're needing shake and donut props. So you could use these ones here in there but um yeah it's, it's an odd it's an odd choice and you get a handful of different nature assets also thrown in trees bushes that kind of stuff 29 road uh, assets so it's 11 roads five uh, street lamps we've got two street signs and the manhole covers unlike the other tune packs the manhole covers don't have any colliders on them uh, so you don't have to turn those off otherwise do turn them off because your cars will be going bump bump over those manhole uh which is which is weird also even though these have got mesh colliders on the objects they are optimized mesh colliders so if i go to models and extend this you'll see that there's a folder of optimized mesh colliders rather than the normal mesh collider which would be like you know, uh, a mesh of a huge mesh uh, and instead 
you've got these optimized ones where it's like 96 vertices on there instead of like you know 300 or or 1000 or whatever so i think that's great what do i think of this pack you know what it's a great addition to the entire tune series if you've got any other two packs from six games well this is a no-brainer and you need this and also in the cell there's the toon industry pack as well where you've got the industrial buildings vehicles uh industrial people as well and that's on the 50 percent sale on the unity asset store this is a 50 percent sale so normally you'll be paying uh i think 46 euros let's say in euros uh 23 euros it's on sale so that's a bargain things i would love as i said the vehicles to be more modular but the fact that these doors open and we've got interiors on this vehicle as you can see over the years it's becoming a massive update on what was previously in the first edition of vehicles from the six games now we can actually have cameras inside vehicles and driving around so that is huge it really is uh it's also a pack where we've got two lawn mowers as well that you can sit on and drive around so that's lovely every time he does a pack he's adding new and new logic and features which is fantastic eventually it will be the um i'm going to say the sinti equivalent of the toon world is six games where every time he makes a new pack it gets better and better bigger and bigger and toonier and toonier so if you do like these videos you want to see more click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below so all of your friends, random people on the street, that the Messi Coder is going to make his own version of The Sims with the six games. And then you'll be able to build your own house. Yes, build your own Sims house in a cartoon style. Uh, let's see how long it take us to make that. Should we make it in a game jam? That would be weird, wouldn't it? Sit back and so I was gonna say sit back and join and enjoy us making a a a, a, two, <laughs> a Simscape oh my word if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time